Um, I've done it a couple times, no gi, but I haven't done it a lot with the gi. I think I haven't done it a lot personally because I don't end up in the position that often, which is instead of seat belt, it's double under control, which is I think kind of more old school jujitsu, double under. Um, but I just don't end up in that position a lot, so I haven't tried it a ton. But you came up, we're going to do it from here, but realistically you'd probably get this position if you came out and you had kind of double unders and like you snuck, you snuck out to the back. But I'm going for this, but I can't grip. He doesn't want me to get in here, right? I think the other reason I probably don't get this a lot is because when the guy fights this position, I go for the crucifix. So if I'm here and Steve's defending, 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 won't let it in, I'll lots of times step my leg over and drag back to the crucifix. So as I'm trying to get my hand and he's defending my hand, I take that as my opportunity. Like maybe I go with the rest of his hand like this and he moves his arm a little bit too far out and that's why boom, jive my knee in. I think I'm using the crucifix more and maybe that's why. So I'm here and he's defending and I can't get, this is my choking arm, he knows that it's close to his neck, he's gonna defend the heck out of it. But when he defends the heck out of it, he might forget that he's got a little hole back here. And it's really hard to close this hole down. It's easier to close down from the, the femur and like your legs because your legs are bigger, but not easy to close it from the hand. So instead I'm gonna go double under. And it's not getting the lapel, I'm gonna go double under and get like a gable grip. I probably am gonna keep this axe handle grip just to kind of you know use the same thing. I'm not gonna square up to him because what we learned yesterday, I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna jump my head to the opposite side and do a big forward flip. And when I do the forward flip, I gotta really, it's you know, um, with some of the bigger guys, it's gonna be a lot of commitment because I'm not just gonna do the forward flip, he's not gonna come with me. I'm gonna have to do the forward flip and do like a big Superman pullover and yank him with core strength. So before I do it to Steve, when I land from this position, and if you haven't seen this form, you'll, you'll figure it out when I show. When I land and my feet land like this, I'm gonna have to like almost bridge and boom, yank him forward with core strength and my serratus and my back and other non-existent muscles. Okay. So I go from here into inside, double. He probably doesn't feel horrible about this because I'm not close to choking him. It's kind of a good control position because maybe I have double lapels. But I'm going to jump all the way up and over, and Steve is going to hide his hand a tiny bit for me just so I don't end up crushing anybody's hand today. I'm going to jump all the way up and over, I'm going to land like this. I'm not going to stop here though, obviously. When I land here, it's going to be time for me to with momentum, boom, yank him up and over, second push hook in, and right away I'm going to take my arm out and put it up above. He's hopefully going to be so focused on like, whoa, I just got flipped, that that's my opportunity to take my arm out and boom, get it in right away. Second, again, you might get your hooks in first, you might get your choking hand in first, who knows, but the guy's probably gonna freeze for a second. So I couldn't get my choking hand in, I'm gonna sneak it underneath and get my grip. Like I said, I'm gonna use axe handle, but if you feel more comfortable with this one, go gable, this one doesn't matter as much because it's not choking. I'm gonna jump over the top, I'm gonna put my head on that, pull speed up and over, all the way up and over, hook, choking arm, hook and solidify like a nice good back position. I'm only stopping him, just so you guys can see like where you want to land. Head, don't land on your head, put your feet on that, rebridge, pull, try to do it in one big motion. And is he doing anything for your neck or he just stays curled? Hopefully he stays curled, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, you yeah, one of the things that, you know, definitely one of the things in jiu-jitsu is, it's not that you don't want to do things on lower level belts, period, that you think will hurt them, positionally, but you got to be careful if you go, if you're sparring, if you're, Steve's a brown belt and he's sparring with a white belt, and he thinks like, I'm going to go for this Puchet to take your back, and the person on the bottom doesn't know what's going on, and they like stick their neck out, Steve rolls all his weight up over their neck, you got to be careful about that type of stuff. So if you're rolling with somebody that's spazzy, or they're new, or whatever it is, and you think this is a bad position, then yeah, don't do it. If he's smart about it, he's going to tuck his neck, right? Especially as soon as he jumps. Hopefully it's kind of like intrinsic at this point, that when people get weight too far over here, Steve gradually rolls out. You know, I'm going to go ahead and grab roll. That should be like a cue for him to grab me roll because their weight's too far away from hips. So hopefully when I jump, he goes, oh, my hips are free, and he starts to roll with me. Okay. So in the beginning, if you feel like your partner's having a hard time, you know, help him, you roll a little bit and help him get used to the position. But I was here, I couldn't get the grip. I'm going here. Up and over and solidify it. The other thing, one more thing, I guess, to note is you're gonna get shoulder in the face. So when you do this jump and you go roll, the guy's shoulder is probably gonna land on your face. So, you know, don't yank him way up and pull him straight into your face. Try to kind of pull him straight up and over because he's already gonna pressure into your face. And if it's somebody bigger than you, you might not go for this period, but if somebody bigger for you and you go for it and they land like square on you, it's probably gonna hurt. Um, do me a favor and do it this way. 
so we're not going into each other. Um, you guys can just get back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You guys want to see it one more time? Is that fine? One more. One more. So that's here, right? I can't get it. I go double under. I might even step back a little bit. Put my ghost in. Definitely, like I said, it's definitely not like a two or three part move. It's not one, pause, two, pause, three, pause. You can do it to get used to it, but this is a, I jump and I yank the guy with me. And the next one we're gonna do as well, the Marcella one, it's gonna be the same way. It's not gonna be a pause. It's gonna be a big like jump and rip to the guy's back. All right, guys, give a shot. Thank you.